Hi there. I get asked quite a lot about how we go around sort of lead sourcing and what we do. So we use a couple of paid tools, um, a LinkedIn Sales Navigator, one of the, the most important ones, and then another tool called Seamless.ai. So the, the aim of this sort of quick video is to show you how we use them and how we go about generating um, uh, sort of contacts that we can then go and prospect. So this is the uh, standard page you get in Sales Navigator. So what you would do is you go in and build the, the filters that you want. So you can choose a relationship. So you might say second degree connection. So people you almost know. You then choose other things like you're in position and you decide on the, the bits that are really useful for you. So I hit search. And as you can see, that's gonna come back with 110,000 or so people. So from here, um, we've got a little add-on, um, which is seamless as I mentioned. And you can see that by having the, the, the plugin, by using the Chrome extension, so you can just go into, um, into Chrome and then type in um, seamless Chrome extension. It adds some extra buttons on here that you don't see in uh, Sales Navigator normally. So what this allows me to do is I can click it and it's gonna go down and it's gonna go and grab the various sort of names and companies for the people. Uh, it's then going to um, push them into Seamless. Um, I can then click Next and it gets my next lot. So you can see it's pretty quickly at going and finding out people that would be relevant for, for, for you to connect with or to speak with. Um, and then once you've done that, what it then does, it's then, um, let's just reload Seamless. Um, uh, I then go to the contacts. And you can see that the people that were my screen a minute ago are now starting to be pulled through. And actually what it's doing um, is it's using, so I click on that, it's using AI to work out what a phone number would be. So it's not so sure on that one. Um, it's okay on that one, so it's got, uh, it thinks that's the contact number, although that looks like a generic one to me. And then using AI, it's using the like the name, so first name and initial uh, on this example, and it's worked out that that is the, the one for Misco. It's tried the other ones, and normally what it'll do is it'll speak to their mail servers and figure out what's going on. So from here then, what I can do is I can say, okay, that's great. Um, I want that in HubSpot, and because I've connected the HubSpot connector in, um, I click the button there, and um, what that's now going to do, it's now going to push that into my HubSpot. So if I now refresh that page, you'll see that that has automatically now been pushed into HubSpot. It's populated all the fields that it knows, so obviously we need to sort of um, validate those and make sure they're okay. Uh, we have a few workflows in there that, um, that deal with the communication subscriptions, you know, relative to GDPR and how you contact them. But I now have them in here, and I can now... Um, once it's done the, um, the bit that it needs to from GDPR, I can then email them and I can pop them in a sequence and I can communicate them with them. And so it probably takes, I don't know, an hour or so to add a good 250, 300 people in there. Um, you obviously want to go through and make sure it makes sense. Quite often you do get sort of slightly odd numbers. So you'll get um, an American number, even though it's a UK firm. So it's not perfect. But actually, in terms of having to sort of copy and paste and to build your database, this is a really good way of doing that and really helpful. Hopefully that's been useful for you to look at. Um, if you've got any questions or want to know how any other workflow things that we use to make our lives easier, then reach out.